sectional leggings. They're not just for women anymore. We'll let you know where you can find a pair in the hangar. Welcome to In The Hangar, I'm Christy Wong. Today's episode is brought to you by Wingfield Aviation. We're here with Trevor Semino from Chart It All, and he's gonna tell us where we can find unisex leggings, right? Exactly, yoga pants, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, not just leggings, I, I wanna get into all of that, but first, yeah. let's get to talk about you for a second, because sure, sure. you're kind of the brain behind all of this. <laughs> uh, yes. Um, a lot of people recognize me on social media mm -hmm. and in the FBOs, Air reports and whatnot because I'm wearing my sectional leggings. In fact, when I don't wear my sectional leggings, people actually get offended. I, I, don't know. I wear jeans to go work in the hangar, go work in the airplane or something. And people are like, Christy, where's your leggings? You know, uh, I've actually had people comment on social media when I don't wear them. <laughs> so thank you, first of all. They're that popular, you know, it's, they're, they're that cool. Yeah, know. exactly. I mean, a sectional chart on leggings, yoga pants. Let's so get how did you come up with that? Because that seems, I mean, it's brilliant, sure, I, you know. Sure. So uh, my backstory is um, I first started off in aviation um, on my 10th birthday. I uh, went As on a Young Eagles flight. I, it was a Young Eagles <laughs> flight in a Piper Cub, which I don't think there's any better airplane to start out in, start, start out in than a Piper Cub. Absolutely love it. And so um, I used to want to be an astronaut. That was what I used to want to do. Um, growing up in Central Florida, having Kennedy Space Center in our backyard, and that was my motivation. And then the space shuttle program ended, and Elon Musk wasn't around doing his crazy projects. So um, I did some research as a nine-year-old and found out that a lot of astronauts started out as general aviation pilots. And I thought that seemed that seemed really interested to, interesting to me. And so I found GA through Young Eagles, and a year later I realized that if I wanted to do this, I needed to find a way to pay for it. Because as we all know, flight training, flying, fuel is not, expensive. It, it's very flying expensive. And I have two amazing supportive parents, but financially it just wasn't going to be doable. So, so you um, did what anybody would normally do and start taking out loans and things like that, right? Not quite. Okay. Not quite. Yeah. <laughs> Something a little bit different. Uh, so when I was 11 years old, I actually started a company called Chart It All, which you've seen. Like the normal 11 year old thing leggings. to do, start a business. Obviously. Obviously. Okay. You know, just entrepreneurial things, you know, why not? Um, and so that's how I, uh, that was the idea that I came up with to pay for flight training, what why I was this, doing. Though? Why this idea? Sure. Why put sectionals on things? So I was actually planning a flight. I'm like a little home flight simulator back, you know, in the day. And so I had the back chart in the day, out. like 10 years ago? Well, not even. Not even. Six I'm 16 ago. now. So um, I was planning a chart. Um, I had the chart out. I was planning a flight, a little cross-country flight, and my mom walked by, noticed the chart, and it just was really interested in it. So we took a Sharpie, drew the outline of a shirt on the chart, and that's how Chart It All was born. Wow. Did all the research, figured out the best way to make it happen, what, you know, how to go from an idea to an actual company, and then here we are now. That's incredible. So let's talk about, uh, and I, I give you, you know, it, it's funny. I, I, I joke with you and stuff like that <laughs> because you are so young, but I am so impressed. Well, thank you. You are what? 16 years old? I am 16 right now. Okay, yes. and you soloed. I did. On your? 16th birthday, just exactly. this past June. Exactly, so I mean, it, just an incredible individual here. Thank you. Having, you know, you had this idea and you ran with it, and the other amazing things, your parents are amazing. I've met them. <laughs> They're wonderful. Your mom is incredible. Just the fact that they support you through this, this is incredible. Absolutely. It's good for them too, because now you, you're you basically self-funding for, <laughs> for college. Right, so. right. Um, now, um, you obviously, you, you've got a couple of competitors out there. Sure. And I'll be the first to admit, so I love Chartered All's products, but my first chart, you know, my sectional leggings mm -hmm. didn't come from Chart at All. It actually came from a different, um, right. you know, competitor. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to know kind of what, what your thought process is in what you put sectionals on. Because I'm noticing your bow tie. Sure. Yes, this is a new product. And you got a uh, sock. Got socks. All sorts of fun stuff. Yeah. Um, and so we were the originals. We, came, we were the original people who came up with the idea of putting sectional charts on clothing. And not just clothing, but 
things. gift items too. Yeah. So, uh, Tervis tumblers, coffee mugs, um, sunglass cases, luggage bag tags, all sorts of stuff. And so, um, you know, it is definitely discouraging, uh, but it's, you know, copying is the highest form of compliment. And so, you know, we have our competitors, they've done their thing, we we do our thing. Um, I'm really happy with the community that we've created with Chart It All. You know, we've got so so many wonderful customers and just, it's really become like a family. Yeah, so um, what, what else do in so, in, products. Yeah, I was going to say, in addition sure. to the leggings and the bow ties and the socks, sure, yeah. uh, what other products do you guys do? Some, our most popular products are blankets. Uh, those are really popular. We have a really nice soft fleece blanket, mm. coffee okay. mugs, shirts. We have uh, three separate styles of shirts. We have a, a men's crew neck shirt, a unisex v-neck shirt, and then a women's v-neck. And then we have yoga pants and we have leggings. The yoga pants are a little bit more athletic, uh, so they have a, a just a more, more designed more for uh, athletic wear. And then the leggings are more just for fun. Uh, so we have both of those. Those are very popular, as you know. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Absolutely. And then. We've got a whole new line of products that we're getting ready to release actually in just a couple of weeks at uh, the Women in Aviation Conference. Oh, great. Uh, one of the new products that we just released this past summer were the bow ties, and they've been really popular. I actually uh, I learned how to tie a self tie bow tie now because we don't we're not going to sell clip on bow ties because clip on bow ties are just you know right. they're fake they're 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 too perfect <laughs> and you can't be perfect and that's probably why this isn't tied perfectly because this is. A, I like Self tie bow tie, um, but my friend Dave Allen, he has been uh, basically since we started chart it all wanting a custom sectional chart bow tie, and so finally last year we made it happen, and they've been really great. So we've got those. We have regular ties as well. In terms of new lines of products, I'm actually wearing one, but uh, I kind of blow the secret a little bit early. But we've got Apple Watch bands coming out, wow. phone cases. So we have some tech gadgets. I was going to say you well. had a phone case, right? I did, yeah, but I don't actually have my phone oh, okay. on me. But yes, uh, we have phone cases. Um, all sorts of stuff. Gotcha, okay. And the one thing that I also wanna point out to everybody is if you haven't noticed, these are customizable. Are. So um, you'll look at, this is DFW Airport and I've got a Denton Airport over here. So this is all DFW airspace. It is. You can customize these products to your, your airspace, which That's is amazing. It. That's it. So, okay, you're 16 years old <laughs> and you've soloed. I have. Uh, what's next? So I'm planning on turning, se well, I will be turning 17 this June. Uh, I'll planning on taking my private pilot check right on my 17th birthday. And I'm also starting instrument training right now. So I'll be hopefully doing my instrument check ride shortly after. And then I've got, I've got a new project in the works that um, kind of applies to what I'll be doing next. I can't say anything about it quite yet, but it is definitely very exciting. All right, you, you're leaving me in suspense. I, I know, I have to <laughs> leave you in suspense, but we'll have to do this again next year and we'll have to talk about that. Okay, but. so have you looked at colleges, what aviation programs and whatnot? I have. So okay. I, I've looking at Embry Riddle right now. That was the that's been my dream school for right, so Florida, I've actually I've been so. accepted to Embry Riddle. I'm also looking at UCF though for uh, wow. space engineering as a possibility. So you know I obviously I know my industry aviation no doubt. Um, I'm still trying to decide specifically what avenue of the industry I want to go into. Recently I've been really interested in aviation law and advocacy, mm. working with AOPA, EAA, stuff like that. Um, so that might be an avenue that I take or I might might stick with aerospace space engineering, one of the two. So you don't necessarily want to go into the 121 world and be an airline pilot? Not necessarily. That's just not me. You know, I love aviation. I love flying. I love GA flying. And so that's that's what I plan on. Yeah. How fun would it be if you could, like, dip your toe in a little bit of all of it, you know? That, that's what I'd love to do. I mean, that's, you know? that's kind of what you're doing. What would you say is your biggest challenge being a high school student, sure. you know, uh, learning how to fly and running a business? It's a lot. I mean, you just described my life pretty yeah. much, you know? <laughs> Um, being a full-time high school student, um, I am a senior. I'm in the International Baccalaureate Program, IB. Um, and so that is that is very time-consuming. Learning how to fly is obviously very time-consuming. And the managing chart at all is a whole other project in and of itself on top of a few other things that I do. And so uh, my key is time management, you know, figuring out, um, hey, here's what I have to do in a day. I have to make sure I get it done. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the biggest challenges that I do face is, is my age just because a lot of people don't take you seriously at 16. Right. A lot of people say, oh, teenagers, and there are general assumptions that are made about teenagers, but um, to me, age is a, is, it's a number, and it shouldn't be able to define what you do. Right, do you, I have to ask you this. Sure. Do you have a driver's license? I have my learner's permit. Um, okay. So I have my, I got my pilot's, well, my student pilot certificate before I got my driver's license, uh, but I don't know, driving's okay. Flying's a lot more fun. Driving's almost necessary. Driving is a necessity, though. So Driving's I did, necessary. I did have to conform eventually and get my permit, so. 
So, okay, many people fill the social media boards asking everyone how to get past the catch-22 of funding a commercial pilot quest. So, like, do you feel as though you've kind of bridged, like, how do you use social media to yeah. bring people into chart at all without, you know, I, I guess, you know, you're balancing that. Sure, and social media is very tricky and it is a full-time job, yes. um, as you know. So, yes. um, you know, I, I really use social media to promote my story and my message because I want to be able to show other students students out there that it is possible to get into the aviation industry. You know, I don't come from an aviation background. My parents don't fly, um, you know, and so I found aviation through the space program, but to so many students, and I've talked to a lot of students about this, the, it's just, it's so unobtainable because they see it as something that, you know, it's just, it's so hard to get to and it's so expensive and, and those, that's very true. but. I'm not saying you have to go out and start a company, but there are scholarships. You can apply for them. You can find internships, find opportunities, join aviation explorers clubs or civil air patrol units. I mean, there are just so many opportunities right now for students in aviation, and that's what I really try to promote across my social media channels. And uh, I ha I, I'm starting a YouTube channel right now promoting that same idea. You know, I, I'm really grateful to have some wonderful aviation mentors, and we get to go on some really great flying adventures, as you know, because we, we, we did that <laughs> we a couple did. of uh, months ago. And so I love sharing sharing those kinds of adventures with students and just, you know, to see another 16 year old doing these kinds of things, that's that's my goal. So more than just selling your product, Absolutely. which is helping fund you. It is. You're also sharing your story. You're sharing, you know, the exactly. pathway to help others. Absolutely. Here's a question for you. So once you get through your college and everything's mm -hmm. paid for, you've you've met the mission. Mm -hmm. What happens to chart it all? It stays, it stays as it is. So my plan is to obviously continue chart it all. I'm really working on, especially in the last two years, really growing it exponentially. And so um, obviously I'll be done with my flight training and college. So my plan is to start offering aviation scholarships with the funds from chart it all. That doesn't that go back amazing. into the company and, and be able to offer scholarships to other students who are struggling to get through flight training, who don't maybe have the resources, you know, they have that passion, they have that drive, but just not the financial resources to make it happen. Where were you I've been, when I was a kid? I know what that I mean, happens. I'm just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, thank, thank you. you so, so much for coming on, yeah, Carter. It's you, such Krista. a pleasure. It's always a pleasure when I, when we cross paths. Absolutely. If there is something that you'd like to see a sectional chart on, please leave comments below. Like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time in the hangar.